Hi, this is Nabi. In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to implement a custom UI5 library using SAP's full stack web IDE. From there, we can even use Grunt to build our library. Finally, we will deploy our library to the SAP Cloud Platform and then we will consume the library in an own app. As you can see, I've prepared a few things here on GitHub and let's start by cloning this repository. Git clone and here we go. That's what we have. What we want to do next is we want to upload these two uh, libraries, uh, zip files, to our full stack web IDE. So let's go to the full stack web IDE, select the workspace, right click, import from file system. And the first file that we are going to choose is the library. Here we go, open and press OK. Now we don't want the, we don't need the Mac OS library right here, uh, folder right here. Next, let's press, let's click, make a right click on the library itself, on the uh, project folder and press build. And also open the console right here. So what's happening now behind the scenes, the default grunt task is executed. And before that, there's an NPM install um, behind the scenes. Okay, um, so what do we have? Let's have a look at the project itself. So what we have here is, um, this is our dependency, our node dependency right here. Then um, we have a grunt file. In this grunt file, it's pretty much straightforward. Well, almost what we're doing here, I'm overwriting a few of the settings that uh, come uh, from, from SAP here. So what I actually want to do, I, I want to overwrite the prefix right here, because if I don't do this, the name of the folder right here is used in some cases to prepend some of the resources in, in the bundled files, in the preload files. And this is exactly here and here needed. And additionally, I'm adding a library section. This is needed because uh, I have a library project and I want to create the library preload file as well. And then, of course, I have to add this to the default task so that my library preload file is generated. So, okay, everything has been done. And there is one more thing, which is this log output. And this is just for me to see, well, how does the grunt configuration actually look like? And from there, I know what I could overwrite. For example, I can have a look at the directories right here. And one of them, the root directory, this is the name of the project, of the, well, of the directory. The, so this one right here. And this one right here is used typically in several sections, for example, also for here as a prefix and for preload dbg as a prefix. And with this here, I'm just overwriting that. Okay, here we go. Now let's have a look at the dist folder. In the dist folder, we can now see that I have a library preload file. That's the preload file, pretty cool. And under components, I have hello world component and there is also a component preload file generated for this one right here. We have the dbg resources and we have the, the normal resources as they come from the project itself. So this is from within here. Let me close the dist folder. Oops, sorry. Let me close the dist folder, open the project right here. Um, as you can see, there is a def there's one control, the product rating control, which is basically the one that I have copied from the walkthrough tutorial. And there's a themes section. You could actually build the themes here as well. However, it is not included in this grunt task. I still have to figure out how that really works in this uh, full stack web IDE scenario. So I'll update um, the source code uh, in the GitHub repository sometime later. Okay, here we go. So we've built it. Now what we want to do next is we want to uh, deploy everything to the cloud platform. So make a right click deploy SAP Cloud Platform. Just say OK. Keep this name here uh, in mind because remember this, we need this uh, if you want to reference our library later. OK, we just say deploy. And as you can see now, here behind the scene, a build has started. Now some no uh, node modules stuff. Here we go. Takes a few more seconds. Almost done.
Okay, the build is successful. Good, so we don't want to register that to the Fiori Launchpad, it's a library. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so next, uh, well, we have deployed the library. Now let's add, let's import the other zip file, which is an app that consumes this one library. Here it is, open, say okay. We don't need this Mac folder. And uh, next, what I want to do is um, let me trigger the build. And while everything is getting executed, I'm going to explain a few things, which is, first of all, the package JSON file, same thing, like for the library. <clears throat> and the grunt file, well, it's almost the same. Well, it's pretty much standard, but except for this one debug line. <clears throat> And our app is a simple component-based application. So we have a component.js, we have a manifest.json file, and in the manifest.json file, we have under dependencies the components that we want to use in this application. And here we're referencing the Hello World component from the library, right here. Now, in the view, in our home view, we are now using the library. And from this library, we just render the product rating control. And we use a component container to include our Hello World component here into this view. And what kind of component is that? Well, let's have a look at the code. It has in create content, it's just returning a button. And, and if you press that button, there's a message toast that shows Hello World. So we should see a button that shows Hello World, and we should, we should see uh, the product rating control. Okay, here we go, but that's not all, because there's one more thing, which is here in the application's new app JSON. We scroll down a little bit, and that's the magic part. So here we're saying everything that goes to resources, Nabi sample UI5 lib, is mapped to the Nabi sample UI5 lib application. And this is what this is our library that we have in the previous step deployed to the SAP Cloud Platform. And the entry path is Nabi sample UI5 lib. So this here is basically this part. Okay, that's all we need. What we want to do next is we just want to run the application as a component-based application. Let's see if that works. I'm opening the console going to the network section. And here we go, that's the application. So we have a product rating control. This is the one from the walkthrough tutorial I copied. And then we have our component from the library that I have deployed, and it shows Hello World in a message toast. Let's have a look at the, let's reload the application, and then let's check what is, what's actually happening here behind the scenes. So first of all, um, there must be a library preload somewhere that loads our um, application, our, let me see where it is, maybe this one, no, oh, here it is. So this one is the library preload for our uh, library that we have deployed. So this is pretty cool. So we have a bundled loading of all the resources. And next what we have is we also have a component and this is the web app, from uh, the component for the web app. And then we have some manifest files. So one of them is for the web app itself. That's the web app. And then we have one for, as you can see, for the Hello World component. Okay, that's it. So um, I will update the GitHub repository later if I find out how to um, build the themes using the full stack web IDE. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, video and keep coding.